In this video, let us learn about subthalamus. Subthalamus is a part of pars ventralis portion of the diencephalon. As the name suggests, it is located below the thalamus. It is a complex region made up of both grey matter and white matter. Grey matter includes nuclear groups like subthalamic nucleus, zona inserta and some of the neuronal groups within the fields of foral. And the white matter includes various tracts which are again of two types. One is these are the tracts which have begun in a distal part of the central nervous system. They are now on their way to reach the ventral aspect of the thalamus. Now because the subthalamus is immediately beneath the ventral tier of nuclei of the thalamus. So all those fibers, fiber bundles which are supposed to be reaching the ventral tier nuclei of thalamus will pass through the subthalamus region and reach their destination. So they include medial lemniscus and spinal lemniscus which will be relaying in the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus, trigeminal lemniscus and solitario thalamic tract which will be relaying in the ventral posterior medial nucleus of the thalamus, dentatothalamic and rubrothalamic tracts coming from the superior cerebellar peduncle of the contralateral side, they will be reaching ventral anterior and ventral lateral nucleus of the thalamus. So all these fibers are coming from elsewhere, they are about to reach their destination that is one of the ventral tier nuclei of the thalamus. So before they reach, they pass through this subthalamic region. Then there are other fiber bundles which will be connecting various parts of the basal ganglia which are also located in and around this region to the nuclei in the thalamus. They include fasciculus lenticularis, ansa lenticularis, subthalamic fasciculus and thalamic fasciculus. Let us learn about these in our next slide section. So first let us find out some of the landmarks. This is the cavity of third ventricle. Immediately lateral to that we have thalamus. Especially what we are interested here is the ventral aspect of the thalamus including all the ventral tier nuclei. Lateral to this thalamus we have lentiform nucleus having putamen, globus pallidus externum and globus pallidus internum. Lateral to the lentiform nucleus we have clostrum which is separated from the lentiform nucleus by external capsule. Further laterally we have insular cortex which is separated from the clostrum by extreme capsule. Medial to the lentiform nucleus we have the fibers of internal capsule. Now that will now define an area between the thalamus and the fibers of internal capsule which is occupied by the structures of subthalamus. So what are we seeing here? We are seeing the subthalamic nucleus. Now this nucleus actually is considered as a part of the basal ganglia. So we will be discussing about it more in detail when we discuss the basal ganglia. Plus we have what is known as zona inserta that is another nuclear, neuronal group. Now this has connections with sensory motor cortex, trigeminal nuclei, spinal cord, globus pallidus, but we do not know its functions as yet. So we will not be talking much more about the zona inserta, but this is one of the neuronal connection within the subthalamic region. Similarly, medial to this zona inserta, we have a field known as field H of foral, within which we have few neuronal group collection that is going to form the preroperal nucleus. Now again this is one more nuclear collection, uh, nuclear group collection. So these are some of the grey matter uh, collections which are found in the subthalamic region. Let us discuss about the other fields of foral. The field of field H of foral is located medial to the zona inserter having the preroperal nucleus as shown here. Then there is field H1 of foral which is located dorsal to the zona inserter and field H2 of foral which is located on the ventral aspect of zona inserta. So these are the three fields of foral through which some of the fiber bundles which would be passing. So let us find out about the various intrinsic fiber bundles which are located here. As I have already said this area will also be permeated by the fibers which are coming to relay in the ventral tier nuclei of the thalamus. In addition there are some of the fiber bundles which are connecting the basal nuclei with the thalamus here. So first 
we have the fiber bundle connecting the subthalamic nucleus with the globus pallidus externum and internum that is known as subthalamic fasciculus. The main input to the subthalamic nucleus comes from the globus pallidus externum and outputs from the subthalamic nucleus mainly is to the globus pallidus internum but also few fibers will reach the globus pallidus externum. Now these fibers are shown in green color here. Together they form what is known as subthalamic fasciculus. As you will notice here, these fibers will be passing between the fibers of internal capsule. Then we have a second set of fibers which begin from globus pallidus internum. These fibers will pass through the fibers of internal capsule. They pass on the dorsal aspect of subthalamic nucleus passing through the field H2 of 4L. Now this fiber bundle is known as fasciculus lenticularis. These fibers will then pass through the field H of 4L to reach the field H1 of 4L. The second bundle which starts from globus pallidus internum is known as ansa lenticularis. Ansa means hook. So these are the fibers which will hook around the ventral aspect of internal capsule as the internal capsule will now descend down to form the crust cerebrae in the midbrain. So these fibers will first hook around this ventral aspect of this internal capsule. Then they will ascend to reach the field H of 4L and they ascend further to reach the field H1 of 4L. So at field H of 4L, both these fasciculus lenticularis and the ansa lenticularis fibers will be together. As they ascend to the field H1 of 4L, they will now reach the ventral anterior and ventral lateral nucleus of the thalamus. Here they will be also joined by dentatothalamic and rubrothalamic tract fibers which are also about to reach the ventral anterior and ventral lateral nuclei itself. So all these fiber bundles together which are present in the field H1 of oral, they form what is known as thalamic fasciculus. So these are the fiber bundles which are present in the subthalamus region. So we have subthalamic fasciculus connecting subthalamic nucleus with the globus pallidus internum and externum. We have fasciculus lenticularis which will be starting from the globus pallidus internum, passing through the field H2 of foral and then join with the fibers of ansa lenticularis at the field H of foral. Both these fiber bundles will ascend through field H1 of foral where they will be joined by the fibers of dentatothalamic and rubrothalamic tract fibers to form what is known as thalamic fasciculus. And all these fibers will then reach the thalamus and relay in ventral anterior and ventral lateral nucleus of the thalamus. So subthalamus area includes different nuclear groups of which the subthalamic nucleus itself belongs to basal nuclei. The other neuronal groups include zona inserta and prerubral nuclei. And then there are fiber bundles, some of which will be reaching the ventral posterior lateral and ventral posterior medial nuclei and others will be the intrinsic fibers which are connecting the basal nuclei here with the thalamus joined by dentatothalamic and rubrothalamic fibers. Hope you enjoyed this short video. Thank you very much. You can visit this site for other neuroanatomy videos. Thank you.